Hey everyone, thanks for stopping in the garage today. And today in the garage, we're gonna be talking about sharpening blades. Uh, hand sharpening, right? You don't need to have expensive sharpeners and you could just use some simple things like files. Um, or, I'm also gonna go over a little bit about grinding. And we're gonna talk a little bit about balancing as well. Uh, so we'll get to that in a little minute. But just to preface everything by saying, look, I remember at the beginning of C19 with lockdowns and all that, I, 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 then as now, I could not get my hands on certain things. Now, yes, you could go buy a new blade. There's still a lot of blades out there. Blade inventory is not too bad. But marshalling forward, you know, into the future, 2022 and beyond, right? I hate to echo this point, but things are going up in price and then there's scarcity. I mean, there's some things you just can't get, filters, just a number of things, guys, that you can't get. And or they're really expensive, and I don't think our salaries are going to go up with the cost, you know, with the increase of inflation and everything. So that brings me to saving money. You you know, selecting tools is part of a uh, a tool scenario. What do you buy? Maybe you don't want to buy new. Maybe you want to buy used. And in the case of a lot of the my hobby and my business, right? I like to buy a lot of used stuff, and that means that I have to put a little bit of work into it. So let's find a way to reduce the cost and also make our lives a little easier, reduce the effort. If if you can reduce the cost and or if it just becomes scarce, maybe maybe the blade you can go out and get, it, you can get it, but they got it on the shelf and they want 30 bucks for it, right? That's insane. Blade toss. You know, because it's a brick and mortar store or maybe you can order it from Amazon, but it takes, I just ordered some oil, right? just the cheapest oil that they have, and like the delivery date is at the end of the month. Now, there are other oils out there that I can get, but they're a lot more money. So let's take a look at this. We're gonna look at files and uh, different files, flat bastard files and medium files, and, and also a good opportunity for me to go and see which ones of these files that I have over here um, are any good, because I'd like to take some of them and put them you know, the good ones I have a place for, but I'd like to figure out which ones are bad uh, because they're useful for making knives and chisels and small tools. Like this one's actually a chisel now. Um, so let's get started on that. The first thing we're going to do is find out uh, if the blades are any good. Now, I've already washed these blades. I did my pressure washing the other day and I went through the machines I want to work on and I pulled the blades off. So cursory inspection is first. They were really dirty. I got kind of a look at them. I took them off. They seem like they might be okay. Uh, so now that we've got them clean, let's go take them over to the nail on the wall and let's just find out. They have to pass that test first. If they hang kind of straight, and it, maybe they're just a little bit off and they hang kind of straight, and now that they're clean, I can physically look at them. <clears throat> they look like they're okay. Then we can go to the next step, which is sharpening. So let's get started on that. Let's take a look at the first blade. So we have four blades. Now this blade is a star pattern blade. And there's always gonna be one slot that is dead center. So on this type of blade, it's awesome because you can hang it right there. I got a nail in the wall out of the way, which is good because this way I'm not gonna walk into that nail and puncture my brain. That one's just a little heavy on that side, but other than that, it looks pretty good. And of course, I'll bring it outside and give it a better look a little bit, but a cursory inspection. I have two of those. Yeah, that's another one. That one looks pretty good. It's just rusty. And I'll show you what we're going to do about that in a minute. Now this one's a universal blade and I have the bushing out of it. The bushing is somewhere around here. I think it's on the bolt on the engine. And it also looks pretty darn good. And the last one is a got a center hole, and this is a mulching blade, and those are nice to have. And that one's a little heavy on that side. Let's see, we just kind of move it around a little bit, just a little bit, but it's not bad. So to start off with, I might look a little bent, but it's not. It's got a cutting surface here and a cutting surface there. 
Let's bring him outside. There's not a lot of light over here because it gets out of the way in the shop, but that's exactly what I want. All right, now let's just take a look at this blade here. We're going to try a few different files. Now this one actually says flat bastard. Not fat bastard, right, but flat bastard. Remember him? Oh, get in my belly. Now this is an older file. I've had this around for a long time. I even use it for body work and stuff. Um, it's pretty coarse, so it may not cut very well, but it's very good for removing some of the overburden, rust and what have you. And we're just gonna go in one direction. I think this one is a little too coarse. And this is also a flat bastard. It's a little bit closer on the medium side. And that one isn't cutting as well. I forget you want to go across the top first. It takes a lot longer. Chuck it up in the vise so that, you know, you want to make it as firm as possible. So we'll choke up on that. And I still think that one's maybe even a little bit dull. So this one here, this is a coarse and it's very similar, basically the same thing. And you're gonna see, this will look, oh, this one's sharp, see? You can see by the way it's talking, see what it's doing? So this is a good file. Now I wanna put this file, let me just put this to the side while we're drawing stuff out. I'm gonna make a couple of, you know, whatever I can of piles so I can see. This one feels kind of sharp. It's about the same, it, it's got a cross kind of cut to it. And yeah, that one's, that one's sharp. So this would work too. So again, this is a more of a coarse. Yeah, see what it's doing? The other one really was working it. So we know this one works well. And here's one diamond cut, they call it. It's a flat, they're actually listing it as, it almost looks like an 80 or an 8D. Yeah, I think this one's dead. And now these are more on the medium end of things. So this is kind of a, a, a cross cut, but mostly they're all going, the lines are going in one direction, right? Um, so I think, oh, this one feels nice. And you can hear it. So if you had two files, uh, you would want a coarse and you'd want a medium, and then you could see it's doing a nice job. So if you want to just run all the rust off first with your coarse and then follow up, let's, sh let's just take down this top edge a little, get rid of some of those sins. That's good, we just got one there. This one feels real nice. Now, to, you need to clean it every now and then. And so just, you, they sell file cards, but you can just use a nice wire brush and clean it out. But it's in pretty good shape. So this one's nice. And here's a newer one. And this is probably worn, right? This is a, a like a fine to medium. Yeah. Yeah, but it's doing a job too. It's definitely hitting the edge. So that's another nice file. Uh, I'd say this one here, now this is pretty fine. And it's got a lot of junk in it. Yeah, she's like, she's like slipping over it doing nothing. So this file has also got a lot of junk in it. And so this is the kind of file that I would say, put this in a junk, junk drawer somewhere and leave it for, you know, making stuff out of it like this one here, right? It's already got a chisel end on it, which is kind of nice. Be nice to take, you know, make another one of these from something, wooden dowel, shove that in there. I mean, they sell them, but you know, again, make it. So this is a flat smooth, and these are the type of file ends that I'm referring to. And this one actually cuts, but it's, it's a smooth file, so we really don't want to use that. Good for maybe dressing the top down, um, but it's too smooth for us, so. We're going to go back to our favorites and finish up, which was this one and this nice big wide one. And that's basically done, guys. Like, that's 
That's in great shape. All right, it cuts so nice. See how it's cutting? You know, so the coarse one to get all the junk off and and that's it. I'm just going to pass over the top. All right, and the edge here is nice, right? It's a nice square edge. That's again where all your cutting goes. So that side's done. That's how fast it can be, especially if you have a blade that's not in bad shape. Now, of course, I'm going through these things with that grinder, and that's why I say it's easier for me. I can clean at the same time. Um, it's no muss, no fuss. Uh, see? And of course, these are not new. So, if you buy a new file, oh boy, do they cut like butter when they're new. They don't last forever. And this one's a little bit more raw. Here's another one that is more of a coarse. This one's in good shape, see? So this is really a good file. And again, this is more of a coarse diamond style cut. So I'm gonna say that we're gonna use this file. We're gonna say that this file is really relegated to, you know, body work and such. But this guy here, Yeah, this is great for our first passes. So this is our rough cut. See, it's got, you see, look here, you can actually see it's cut one direction, and then it has another cut. So it creates sort of like a diamond surface. And honestly, you could just use this. I don't think it has, does it have any more markings on it? I can't read it. Bit issues here. Let's dress the top and finish up. Now they use a very rough um, cutting blade or is a grinding surface, so it's okay to have a rough cut to it. You're cutting a log, so you don't have to use a medium file. Like this one, which does a nice job of cleaning up, but it's not necessary. And then we're just going to dress the top, like I said earlier. And we're done. Still got a little bit of a sharpness to it. Come back this way. Now let's take a look at the blades a little bit closer on the table. So I know these are my good files. I'm going to go put away my files. Um, this one's still good too, I can feel it. it it's able to work the, the rough, the roughness out. And so we know that these files are questionable. In fact, what I probably should do is knock the, these nice ends off of them and, uh, and put them on my good files and just put these away. We'll be back in a minute, guys, and I'm gonna go do that. Just a quick coat. It's really more like a gimmick. Uh, you know, my customers like this. I don't try to pass them off as new blades. I use, you know, by the way, I use a good Rust-Oleum. Uh, the cheap paints are garbage. You just wind up using twice as much and you don't save anything. And how many things do I want to stock? So get out there, guys, and sharpen up your blades and save yourself a few bucks. Uh, maybe you can, you know, go over your blade with a few simple tools. Invest in yourself. Uh, grab a couple of tools to do this. It's real easy to do, and I don't see why any, anybody could really do this. Uh, I have a vise outside. I have a few things. Yes, I mean, you may not have that, but you can still clamp it to a table or clamp it to something with a vise grip or some other kind of clamp or hold it really good and sharpen it. Um, you can do it on the edge of a table or a picnic table or something, uh, but you can do it yourself. You can't really do it on the machine, so you're going to need to take the blade off and get it good and clean and clean the, you know, the mating surfaces and all that, like I said. But you can do it, and I will see you guys on the next one. Save a few bucks, guys, and put that money back into your pocket. I'll see you later.